Grizzly and Jesse, keep your eyes closed for the next three seconds. They've never seen that up there yet. Yeah, Shades. All right, gentlemen, open your eyes and bask at the glory. Oh, that's nowhere near as bad as I was expecting. No, but it ain't good. No, it ain't bad. Come on. Bad. All right, let's go check it out. Elvis Jet update one. I have not found the original tag yet. The donated tag to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is now up to $5,000. That's amazing. Go check it out on charitybuzz.com slash save the 310 and go bid it to the moon. Let's help that charity out. It was Elvis's favorite charity. Let's do it for Elvis. Let's do it for the children. And three, if you want to be the first to find out when these other Elvis tags are available, you have to go to savethe310.com, sign up on that email list, because you're going to find out first, way before anybody else. And there's only a certain amount of these things that we can make, because there's only one Elvis jet that is probably ever going to have this happen. So yeah, it's going to be extremely limited, and I just go there, savethe310.com, sign up, You'll be the first to find out. Now, back to this RV adventure, which is a very big adventure, and we have a lot of fun at a campground, and uh, somebody finds out if the shower works. I'm just gonna not spoil anything. I apologize now, because it's crazy windy and uh, gusting like 30, 35 miles an hour, so it should be real fun trying to drive this thing for the first time in seven years all the way across Florida. Fine. That table hookup? Hey man, nothing but high living here. This is the door unlocked still? Oh yeah, we got maggots in here? Where's that nut? So that's some eggs of some kind. Oh good. Yeah. Ants. Oh! Whoa! They're moving in or they're moving out? I hope they're moving out. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. Oh wow! Oh yeah, they're all kind of going that way. Got a flat toe rig for it too. Sweet. All right, what do you, what do you think? Of it? Oh, I love it. Yeah, no, it's uh, like I said, it's a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna have Jesse uh, go inside and check it out. He's very afraid. This of is mint. This, this isn't bad. Nice. Yeah, this is a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. The whole time you're like spiders everywhere and i'm like oh okay this is not gonna be fun for me because i don't like spiders no yeah. but then it's like this it's isn't like yeah. oh look there's one right there I dare you to pick it up no i don't play that game the there's some more no <laughs> you want to die <laughs> listen i'll kill you me and him we're all dying we're all going down oh he's gone now where'd he go yeah silas is driving home that's how that's going <laughs> we're all dying here, dude. Keep on looking. Yep, spider in the shower. Another spider in the shower. Oh, there's two of them in here. Nice. You're, so you're going to be the first one to take a shower? You got a whole bedroom. Well, yeah. A bed. She needs some love. Well, we took the bed and put it up against that way to hold the hatch up. Right, right, right. So right. the bed just needs to be... Repaid. Turned a little bit. Redone. Yeah. No, this is not bad. A little clean up. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Closet, I assume? Bathroom. Toilet. Spiders. Mm. Is there more in there? Oh, yeah. Don't. Oh, there's a good one right there. Yeah, we'll close that. Don't need that. Not where we're going. Totally going to work for Duck Hunt. Need yeah. that. DVD, VHS. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it got all the, the snazzy stuff? Well, it's got hi-fi VHS, baby. Wow. Let's uh, go connect those batteries and get this baby fired up and uh, see how this goes. We got to figure out how to play duck hunt on that little guy. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got him. Got him. This one goes to that terminal. This one was on that terminal. This one was back there on that terminal. Okay. And these are all on this terminal. Oh, okay. Got so it. I unhooked everything because my gut tells me one of these is not hooked up. Something over here is not hooked up correctly because 
there's not supposed to be that many cables going to the starting batteries. Okay, so. If you just, they, you can kind of tell where they go. Yeah, sure, that's it. Yeah. yeah I'll figure it out. Just whenever you start putting them on, don't let the other one hit metal, because I don't know where power routes to and all that. Makes you feel any better? Me neither. And I brought more fuses for us to pop. Sweet. But I have a fusible link on there now, a homemade fusible link, roughly a <clears throat> 500 amp fusible link. Uh, is, it a, <laughs> a, is it a coat hanger? <laughs> You're pretty close. Yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Stack pennies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's the relays oh, over God, here like for the battery seven. isolators. And there's some yeah. wires that well, don't know where they go? Hold on. No fires yet. Yet. This one. All right, we got a 50 amp plug on this thing. All right. With stuff growing out of it. You're fine. It's still and working. And that's why I unhooked it, because I know that it's drawing power. Oh, 100%. And I think it's this inverter that's drawing power. Most likely. Because this thing, look, it's still flashing, and it's not supposed to be on there. Even turn these things off, and it still flashes. All right, so I got to go get size adjustable. Oh, from the, the car. So the starter on this bad boy my guess, don't touch, don't touch the thing, <laughs> is back there in that back corner, I think. Or it's like right here. It's one or the other. So we gotta do disassembly big time on it before we can get to the starter. Yeah. Correct. So what it looks like is there's four here on the bottom and then a couple here on the top and then this should beep boop and well, come out. Well, th yeah, this whole thing. Yeah, hypothetically. Dude, I'm telling you, a good pressure washer, this thing's gonna come back right. Yeah, this thing's gonna be better than new. And all that kind of stuff, and here we go. Ooh. All right. And then let the air build up. Yep. Oil pressure's up, battery voltage is good, finally. How many miles are on the old girl? Uh, 71,553, I think, is what that is there. It's got an ex it's got a jake brake? Yeah, oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh, the mirrors work. Nice. Does that one work? Oh, yes. Nice. lights turn them on oh yeah i just seen these light up over here hey that thing comes on don't touch that one hey we got a fan there's air our conditioner. air conditioner oh it's two speed all right hey it needs it what the heck i turned the dock lights on and the whole thing just died don't do that I guess. What? What just happened? It still shows more than a quarter tank of fuel in here. What? What just happened? Are those things on over there? Those are still on. Okay. I guess we go back to repairing stuff again. Alright. Grizzly, go. I need you in the driver's seat. Um, come to the passenger side, just in front of the rear wheel. Okay. What? And open the um, the back hatch where the propane can is. Uh, see if you can 
find out if there's a little way to drain it to see if we've got fuel coming to the, to the thing right there. All right, uh, Grizzly, key on. I'm not hearing the fuel pump. That's right there. I'm really starting not to like this thing. So we haven't even left the, uh, the spot and, and it's not running. It just turned off like, it just turned off, boom. So, yes. Yeah, that's, that's what you get on these big jobs, you, you know. I'm absolutely not surprised at all, if I'm honest with you. All right, stop, stop, stop. Turn off. So there's this thing called emergency start. So if you hold that in, and now if you turn it clear back there, okay, go ahead and turn it. That's what you're gonna need to use, so stop. And we're gonna crack the injector lines and I'm gonna see if it just needs to be bled for some reason. Stop. There is no fuel coming out of that at all. All right, now we're getting that thing going. I did see the connector on this had a little white dust inside there. So I'm wondering if the connector on that lift pump was just corroded. Had a little bit of corrosion, had to move it. Yeah, all right, go ahead and start it. Start it. Like I said, we're just going to close it, pretend that everything is fine, and just go. Yep, that's that's the best plan right there. Yeah. <laughs> you can see where, like, the, <laughs> the mud on that side is. You can see through the, the camera. Line. Yeah, through the camera. the camera, it's so blatant. Grizzly, he's all kind of anxious to get he, yeah, driving this thing. It don't telescope. It should. It says it does. Push for telescope. Oh, oh sorry, telescope. It's maxed out. <laughs> it's maxed out. That's cool. You can go forward. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look, look, we can go up. Well, Grizz, what do you say? We're gonna try heading toward. Uh, yeah, I'll follow toward you. Tampa. Throw in the comments. How far do you think we're gonna make it before we have an unexpected or? It's expected, if I'm honest with you. Uh, yeah, just the way point. this thing went this morning, uh, just really it's how long we think it's going to take for it to happen again or something else. Who knows? Uh, it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. What you, could possibly go wrong? You don't need to worry about that. Yes. Well, let's go. That thing is so sketchy. It just, it looks exactly, probably worse in real life than what it does in the camera. I know I'm sitting here in this captain's chair and I'm like, it's pretty comfy right now. Like, oh, bro. <laughs> this thing is comfy. No, 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 it's full tilt all the time. Yeah, it's it's all or nothing. Yeah. There's stuff flying around back here. Say that again, good sir. I might have to use the top button now that it's so far away. Silas, what do you think so far? Cool. 
You having fun? Yeah. Are you? Oh, dude, I'm having a blast. I know Grizzly's having fun. Yeah. Look, he, look at that beard. He is meant to sit in that seat. Yeah. You look like an old guy getting ready to go on vacation. <laughs> Which gas pumps? Right in the middle of the gas pumps over there. Wait. You see my seat? I don't know if we can fit next to that that dually. He said, "Yeah." Holy crap! We made it 3.8 miles. You made it 3.8 miles. How do you feel? I feel great. This thing does not want to drive at all. The pedal has been to the floor basically since we left, and the top speed is 46. All right. Perfect. Four dollars and 49 cents a gallon here. 50 bucks. It'll probably take all of it. And we put 150 on this, and I know it's going to take all of that easily. How much is fuel over here? 449. 449. It's the exact same price as mine. <laughs> That's oh, it's easily 93 in the same price? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Which is insane because nowhere near as much refinery goes into diesel as it does premium. Exactly. Very true. Yeah, I, I don't understand why diesel is so stinking expensive. Maybe somebody in the comments can just go on a massive soapbox and just go off on how it's all kind of screwed up. That should take you a while. Well, while you're doing that, we're going to fill up and then we got to go get some lunch, truck stop style middle of nowhere Florida truck stop style. I think I spied some burritos or taquitos or something. Yeah. That'd be good. There's some empanadas in there. Yeah, there is empanadas in there. Ooh! Yeah. Heck yeah. Gas station empanadas? Yeah! We'll find out if that bathroom works. Thank you that much. Yeah, we will. Thank you that much. Yeah, you gotta... I'm kind of on a code red kick lately. Kind of enjoying. Uh, Alright. Bacon addict cheeseburger. Lemon cake. I'm in. Cheese on a muffin. Ham, egg, and cheese on a croissant. And you gotta have the nacho cheese bagels. What do you got? I gotta go grab it because I set it over here. Lunchable, sausage, egg, and cheese on a biscuit times two. So nasty. Salt and vinegar are the best. These are the best chips in the world. That's disgusting. All right, what do you guys think the total is going to be? What do you got? Fifty bucks. I said fifty. I'm going to go with sixty-two. All right, sixty-two. What do you think, Silas? Seventy. Uh, Forty-eight. I'm going low ball. I'm going to say forty-seven. All right. Go grab your drink and stuff. Fifty four oh eight. Bam. Clean the RVs. We got to get this window situated. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I think it's making it worse. Yeah, probably. It said bacon thing on it, but I'm not seeing any bacon. But there is this round wafer thin Canadian bacon like substance. Hmm. I don't think this is actual hamburger. Spider. I don't know. Uh, there's something down there. Yeah. Something <laughs> bit me. Spider. Something bit me. Oh, there is a spider right there. I you told there. you. Stop. Don't you throw nothing at me. I see who you got over there. Uh uh uh. Not today, Satan. Uh uh. There is a significant air leak under here. Going down or anything? I hope it's in the suspension and not in the brakes. Although, we haven't even checked the air pressure in the tires either. It's fine. Hey. So, we're driving down the road and uh, Grizzly notices out of the mirror. We've got a hatch open and stuff's coming out. Oh, shove that back in there, grab old girl, give her a good slam. That didn't close at all. That's not closing at all. 
Maybe if I do that number, that'll work. What about this one? This one good? That one's good too. All right. Back in action, Grizzly. It is raining quite a bit now, which is good, because maybe that'll help wash that thing off a little bit. We need all the help we can get. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, we got some leaks. I'm barely picking it up, but this is, uh, that's on the inside right there. That's, that's not on the outside. And we got some sealing issues. Not like little, well, maybe there's sealing. Well, yeah, yeah it looks like there might be. Um, well, yeah, we got some leaks. We're gonna have to tackle that. Uh, we found some more leaks. Um, that's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, that's good. That's not supposed to be like that. That's, it's OEM Plus Grizzly, it's good. <laughs> I'm at 50 miles an hour, and it is a lovely place to be. Calm, quiet, even the semi-trucks can barely hear them. Yeah. Grizzly and Jesse are doing it. Hey guys, how you doing back there? Um, oh, you know, we're just blowing around the winds and stuff, bud. Hey, we just got passed by our first cop and he didn't pull us over. Woohoo! He probably don't want to get near this thing. <laughs> Grizzly said he probably don't want to get near this thing. This is the Everglades. Part of it. Oh, there's a cop up here. Hey, we got a uh, cop coming up in about a half a mile on a speed trap thing. I mean, he's not going to catch us for speeding, that's for sure. The way you guys are swerving all over the road back there. That's funny. Hey, I just realized you guys do not have a radio in that thing, do you? downpour sideways went rain hit us yeah and the wind was bad before <laughs> you look like you're got a little you know. yeah i'm awake now <laughs> yeah the wind was bad and then after the rain the wind was bad worse <laughs> yeah it was worse I, I'm, I'm driving like this and then the wind would stop and it would go like this and then he'd come back over and then the wind would go like this and it's like it was at one point i was looking down at my phone I heard noises and I looked up and I couldn't see all the windshield from the rain and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> this is not. One windshield wiper works real good on his side though. Oh, that's the only one that matters. Yeah, cool pie. Teamwork. You work. right. So we, we need to grab a few things. Yes. We're going to go to a campground and we're going to test out the earth. Well, I mean, that's yeah. natural, right? That's what you do. We need to find the nicest campground in the area. That's only fitting for I got an idea on that. You got one? Yeah. I think, I think we got a spot. All right. You know you're in Florida when they have gator heads. And this is real, by the way, not a plastic one. Those are very sharp teeth and that is what I got a very special dinner planned for all of us. Should be quite yummy. 
So now we just gotta get to the campground and see if we can get in there. Yeah, I'd say it's a little windy out right now. This is the weirdest, it's not, it's a stoplight right here. Oh, <laughs> they gotta come over this. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. This is not sketchy or anything. power on over there. No? Uh, electric yeah, step, see. entry, patio light. Put a battery disconnect. Or... Normally if you just put this thing turned off. Or the key on. Oh, I feel it going down. I hope he's not under the RV. <laughs> yeah, it's coming down on top of his head. I got a good shot right here. That's that side. I know what about the other side. Alright, let's get this stuff out of the way and see if this slide will go out. Coolest part. Let's see. Slide. Ready? Clear slide. Ooh. The doors didn't go out with it? Huh? The doors and stuff don't go out with it? No, nothing I'm aware of. Okay, alright, I'm gonna try to open it again. Wow, that's about seven years since the last time this thing has been open. Here, push on that side, Silas. I'm just going to lean on it. Watch your fingers. And that's it. Wow! Woo! <laughs> Look at that! You can tell a difference in the carpet right here where that line is. Dude. It's so roomy. That's, that's all right. Uh, we'll just leave that down. Gross. <laughs> Wow! What's in here? <gasps> More, Ew. lots of spiders. There and go. stuff. Back. Is it in? It's in. to park it at your house. What's up? Did you guys happen? Oh, hey, inverter is on. Okay, AC in. So. 30, okay. Charge. So that's good. Oh, we got lightage. We got lightage? Kinda. Ish. Where's this light switch? I feel like we're missing. Oh, look, thermostat here. Oh, we're gonna move. Uh, cool. <gasps> There's one. Oh, yeah. What is it cold? Yeah, it's actually cold air. Yeah. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, light switch. 
Yeah, I already tried it. TV doesn't turn on either. Well, the microwave's not on either, so I wonder if there's another switch or if there's another something somewhere. Propane's turned on, right? I, I believe so. Good. Me? Does it have a clicker on it or you just go for it? Jimmy, you should know by now that we just go for it. Uh oh! Hey! hey! We got fire, boy. Nice. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, the uh, outlets are they working? Yes. 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 They are. Yeah. Ooh, so we, we plugged his phone in, and it's like, and it started charging. So. Because I got the insurance on the phone, so. <laughs> You're like, <"Yeah." laughs> so we still just need to figure out if the hot water is working and the furnace. Uh, 
so we know that the generator blows 175 amp fuse, but I got my 5,000 amp fusible link back there. So we're going to see if we can just hit it, just tuck, 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 and try to knock that starter loose to see if this thing will start going. Now that we have full charged batteries and stuff, maybe that'll help. All right. Do you have your uh, voltmeter? Yeah, I got it right here. Take a Yeah. Hello, buddy. Hey, buddy. We got a uh, starter right here, so we're going to give it the old Jimmy. A whack a mole. That thing. <laughs> and the wind is blowing this way. Yep. Okay, now. Careful what you hit there, bud. We're doing a little swing, man. <laughs> I did bring the big hammer. So now, let's see. Ooh. Dunk. Said thunk. That is not good. <laughs> now, this appears to be plastic on this fan. So, yeah, that's gonna break. Yeah, just be super careful with plastic and I'm afraid it's gonna break or crack and if it does, that, then it's toast. Mm. Nothing? I mean, it just very slightly wiggles that before. Let me hit the starter here while your hands are in there. Yeah, do it. Let me know. Help it along if you would. There you go, buddy. Hey, that's what it was. Nice. I got one too. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Not surprising. Come on, girl. Let's go. I just geminized the crap out of that thing. I found the oil pressure switch and started banging on it. It's probably clogged. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the oil is pretty black. Right? Yeah. But. It's working. Now let's see if the back PC <laughs> works. <laughs> That's what we call the, uh, the Jimmy fix right there. I told you, hammer fixes just about everything. There's nothing you can't fix with a big enough hammer. See, that's why Grizzly's on the gym team. Okay. He's, he knows what it's doing. You can't hear anything. I need to check. I want to see if the hot water thing is working or whatever. Ooh. Oh, there's critteridge in there. Yeah, that's a refrigerator. Yep, yeah, okay, so we're just gonna... Yes! That's... We don't need to bother with that. Alright, here we go. Hot water. Mud daubers. Wasps. Jesse doesn't like spiders, so no. he brought a little pump pump action. We're gonna blow this guy out of You got him? Smithereens. You Ooh. missed! You gotta hold, there you go. Yo, that's not... I think you're shooting high. Oh, you got him that time. How you, you feel better about that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm taking this home. <laughs> the bathroom is the jackpot. There's a billion of them in there. Yeah, open the water closet. Water, yeah. Really? On the wall. Oh yeah. There's the one right there. Oh got him. Oh he's on it now. Where's him? Oh, the oh there he is. You trying to run? Not today, Satan. For a guy. He is here. Go all the way in. Make sure you got them all. <laughs> 
Não. <risos> Olha. It went out, but we had to push it out, so we might have to get some help out there to push it in. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ready, go! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're gonna need some help. <laughs> hey, Grizzly? Yep. I think we're gonna need some Grizzly power out there to help this slide come back in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, one, two, three, go! Oh. Oh. Are you guys still pushing? Yeah, we're still helping. Definitely gonna need to lubricate that. Jeez. So we should be able to uh, hit store. Yep. And that'll bring them all the way up. Takes an hour. Don't worry <laughs> about <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> the jacks are still down, down? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's off of there, but it's only up like this far. One of you, one of the viewers, sent me some of this and a oil additive, and we finally have the opportunity to use it. So let's go see how it works. Came uh, from Australia, I think, is where the guys sent it from. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Are they all the way out, and is it like raised back up again? Okay, that's slippery, that's for sure. All right, try that. Nope. When I start this, the suspension's gonna air back up again, isn't it? And it should pull those up. No, it doesn't pull them up. They're spring like a hydraulic cylinder. They just spring back in. So we have to get a pry bar, wood, and push them back up. Big Tammy, we're going to get trouble for that yeah, one. Yeah, we can't do that one. That was, there's too many wives named Tammy out there. Built that, up, everything's ready to go. Yeah, it's still building pressure, but it's not low anymore. Yeah, I broke something with the generator. It wasn't me. Didn't do it. Definitely did not unhook those wires to what I thought was the oil pressure switch and jump them. And they definitely did not pop some sort of fuse or circuit breaker that I cannot find. That did not happen. Definitely not. Well, meet you guys down there at the next stop. again. Woo woo! Full power! Alright, we got our shower. Make sure our pump is turned on. Okay, we'll test. Boom. Good. Alright. So how do you like it so far, Grizzly? It's, it's awesome and scary and sketchy all at the same time. I'm this glad. is just a big wind sock, wind sail, and trying to keep it between these little white lines is not so much fun right now. It's kind of funny. Nobody wants to ride in the really nice Mercedes car. They all want to ride in that RV. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I'm a little jealous, but I'm honest. I wonder what they're doing. Woo! 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 Oh my 
got it full. The hot water heater don't work. What in the world? We gotta fix that. Goodness gracious. This may be a little premature celebration. That's it. Watch the temperature. <laughs> if it's still can't see it. Keep going. You can't, can't see. You can't it. see any of the instruments. None of the yeah. instruments work. So what you do is you take your phone and you put it right there, and with your ways, <laughs> and then you got a speed. <laughs> That's hysterical. It's good. All right, boys. Well, shoot this thing. Just needs a little loving. A little love, a little clean. Yeah, we'll see how. All the roof leaks and all that stuff. That well, stuff the will... roof cut, the the vinyl covering is torn. You can see it out here. The world's the most engine. expensive three RV. RV. Yes. Yeah. So that was. I was doing quick math, and I've already spent over five thousand bucks on this three RV. All right. All right. All the roof leaks. See if we can't make it home. Last trip. It's doing good. Hello. Hey, just uh, uh, stop it right here. Stop. You've got a lot of water coming out of the side of this thing. So pause it. I'm going to cop out and take a look. All right. What'd you break? I think they left the water pump on. That's the only thing that happens between here and 73 more miles. Silas, can you dig it? Robot, sit down. I broke it Sixteen hours later, we made it home. Miracles of miracles, and tomorrow, now we gotta start cleaning on this thing. My name is Jimmy, and this is Elvis Presley's private jet that we found abandoned in the desert after 40 years. And we are doing something very, very special with it. We're taking that, converting it into a bus, so it can tour the country once again, just like Elvis would have done. This is a actual piece of the airplane. These are, uh, I believe, parts of the wing, and it's the very first piece that we're making for this, serial number 001, and we gave you a bonus one over there as well. 100% of all these proceeds goes to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Bid it to the moon, help those children out, and keep Elvis's legacy alive. And you can follow the whole crazy journey 
on my YouTube channel, Jimmy's World. You get a certificate of authenticity because I signed it. I'm the one who actually helped make these things. Uh, and we got a FAA bill of sale proving that Elvis Presley actually owned this jet. It's a one of a kind. They will never ever be made again because this was his only other jet other than the two that are on display in Graceland. And I doubt they're gonna be doing anything like this with those. Go bid it to the moon, help those children out, and let's keep Elvis's legacy alive.